Catholic parents, being the youngest of six siblings. She is presently married to Leslie Walker Harris. She has four sons and 11 grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> She has been a member of NANPWC since 1997 and a life member since 1998. She is involved in many other organizations and she is very active in her church. Education and employment includes associate, applied science degree with New York University and Adelphi University, Bachelor of Science in Social Work from Empire State College, State University, of New York. Her We are in it for the long haul. We go to induction and then to the bloodline of membership, which is life membership. We feel connected and committed. Now, a sense of duty, we have a strong sense of duty. We respect leadership. We are reliable and we value teamwork. Uh, benefits of achievement when he submits, the traditional brings to the organization had on experience, the growth change in the organization, history of the organization. Remember, we were there. Mm -hmm. Knowledge of individual communities, which we can facilitate, collaborate, and with other organizations. However, at the same time, recognize that technology is the traditional may need some support and patience from others. Just this interaction can promote cohesiveness in the organization. But don't forget, part of the DNA of the business is to have a legacy. And as you know, I was sitting here with my impact card. This is my world. I'm <laughs> grade five to our education. Be glad I'm in that college, okay? And some fun stuff is the radio. I brought my own radio. And I made the poster, okay? You remember the story of the king? Ten, ten wins. Okay. What's wrong? What's the word? Thunderbird. You might not know that was a bottle of wine. <laughs> Jack Wilson. Lonely teardrops. Oh, and then right. Chuck and Chase. Oh, that's this again. Last night is Ellie Jane. And we laugh. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. <laughs>
but it is our goal to bring people together. Regardless of the age, uh, background, it is our goal to work together collaboratively in order to accomplish goals. Communication and engagement. Uh, a we appreciate authentic and transparent communication. I'm guilty of sharing way too much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I have nothing to hide. So it's, it's what sometimes, it you know, we have to let people know you're not pulling your weight. We need for you to do more. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we might need you to do less. Right. Or sometimes we might need you to do it differently. But the goal is, again, communicating and being transparent and authentic in our community. Personalized communication with those various channels. I was going to do well. I'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, but the personalized communication and the communication channels. Social media, we like it. <laughs> uh, we like, again, networking events, and we like being able to connect. As far as the sustainability is concerned, again, networking opportunities. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, leadership development, taking those things that we know and those things that we can learn from others and utilizing that to benefit the club as a whole. The benefits of uh, to achieve cohesiveness, stronger support networks. Again, I think I've said networking or networks at least three times so far. Mm -hmm. That amplify voice and advocacy, just working together to accomplish the goals, support our community, uh, increase professional development opportunities is what we are looking for. And then, of course, the fun fact. The internet was born with us, as well as <laughs> Gloria had her note cards, Marie had her handout. I've got my laptop. <laughs> that also converts into a tank. Black <laughs> diversity. Uh, the birth of hip hop. You know, Curtis Blow. And these are the brains. Bring it up. All right, you got it. Uh, we love our fashion. Bell bottoms were a fashion trend. Yeah. And for those of us who know, fashion repeats itself, so definitely. And then, of course, video games as entertainment. Love myself some Pac Man, some Cinnamon, and then we had the uh, at home games that were uh, born during this time frame the Atari as well as the Nintendo. Yes. So, Still got one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep.
education and entrepreneurship. And so if we are a business organization, we should be finding those entrepreneurs who, who want to be molded, who we can support funding, or just give our knowledge and wisdom um, throughout the club. Um, I also think that there has to be a what is it, what is in it for me. Um, that is a really big part of our generation. Okay, what are you gonna give me that I don't already have to develop me as a professional, as a, um, as a business owner? What do you, because when I think about it, a lot of times we might say, oh, we'll do um, a business plan workshop. Well, I already have a business plan. Or, you know, we might do a social media, how do you work Instagram or Facebook? Well, we, we already know that. So what are you gonna give me that I do not already have? And I think that we'll be able to sustain us once we get here is that funding. I think that all um, businesses and organizations, especially for our generation, we're looking for funds. Like, how can we build our business with grants and opportunities to have more funding to grow with us? And so um, that is one of the um, sustainability points that I have is diversifying funding streams because I've just noticed in meetings, whether it's been, I've been in this organization for almost 10 years, and one of the things that I keep hearing is, um, how are we gonna pay for that? Or where's that gonna come from? Or where's the funding? Or have you done your fundraiser? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like if that is a burden that's taken off of our organization, and we really dive into the free money that's out there for organizations like us, we can really grow as you know organization. That won't be a part of it. We would just say, this is the budget, and what can we do? Instead of, where is the budget coming from? Mm -hmm. um, another thing for sustainability is uh, building relationships throughout the organization. So for many of our club sisters, we only see each other here on um, you know the weekend of our Southeast District or our national convention. And so how can we build some type of social aspect to our organization? Yes, we are not a social organization, but this is something that appeals to us. We want to be able to have fun and build relationships and have networking opportunities. And I think that that would be great. Um, I met uh, Brittany Montgomery last year, and I believe she's in my generation as well. But ever since we met from the Southeast District, like we have built a relationship. And so I can call, you, call her and say, hey girl, like, what are y'all doing this weekend? Your organization, or what are your youth doing? Let me steal from you, or she's stealing from me. So it's a way for us to really communicate and really develop those relationships and not just having a weekend you know, that's looking fabulous, right? Um, and then the last thing I was gonna say about sustainability is uh, key performance indicators. I feel like we need to set goals and start marking them off. Have we hit this indicator? Um, how far are we from it? Is it a five year or three year plan? And everyone kind of understands and knows what we're, we're marching for. Um, so that way we can all speak the same language as well. So that would be the cohesive organization is one speaking the same language there is no misconceptions or disagreements which is um, part of our parliamentarian right I'm getting that right um, that keeps us in order and making sure that we all speak the same language and then that everyone feels valued and also held accountable mm -hmm. so to the fun stuff um, our fun facts for our generation we love social events and networking and I said I think that we probably love this because without cell phones and social media. So we were outside playing jump rope or meeting different people from the street. Um, and so we rode bikes together and things like that. But we are also a generation that, while we didn't grow up with cell phones or um, social media, we still, we're like in between. So we know what it's like without it, we know what it's like with it, and we're very savvy with technology. Um, we are investors and entrepreneurs as um, if, if there is no purpose, there is no interest, and I think that's very important. We don't like our time wasted. And um, I think we are one of the most educated generations. We really thrive off of college educated people and the people in our circle who really understand and value their profession. And then finally, um, 
I think that our generation is very delayed in like life milestones, like marriage and children, and not me, but all <laughs> 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 Our generation is like, I, I've been there when I get there. You know, I'm focused on my life. So that's millennials. <laughs>
inclusive of what has taken place since that was published. We need to do that. People need to know what we were about. We've done so many important things. Um, I was, when I was national president, I had the opportunity to go to, I think it was Austin, Texas, where our organization was given an award because of the war efforts that our founders were involved in. And, and they knew that, they recognized that, and we received an award uh, and a recognition because of that. So it's just important that we uh, always keep abreast of history, whether it's history in this organization or history ourselves in, in a very uh, protected and knowledgeable way. June, could you give me that um, email address again? Responsibility 2324 mm -hmm. at yahoo.com. Yep. Thank you. National Cast President Castillo, uh, the resources that you talked about, about the book, I would love to put some snippets in each one of our newsletters that yes. you receive to make sure that everybody's getting the same information. I will get it to you. Thank you.